Hello guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another little story episode. This one's going to be a really, really interesting one. And uh, some of you might frown upon me for some stuff I'm going to say because this... <laughs> I was young, but we'll get into that in just a second. But today we're on Union MC again because it's like the only prison server I actually know, and prison servers are just are just right for um actually saying stories. I don't know why, but it's a pretty awesome prison server, and I actually quite I like I never really like prison, but I actually quite like this prison server a lot. But guys, if you enjoy this, make sure to slap that like button. Let's see if we go for over a thousand likes. There should be another video going out in an hour when this video goes out, if I do it on the Sunday. So fingers crossed. There should be another video going out in an hour, so don't worry, it's your normal video, probably factions, probably factions, yeah. So don't worry about that. But, let's get into today's episode. So, I'm going to be talking about my faction journey and where I got into factions. So, factions first started out when Killian bought me Minecraft. Back in the day, if you guys don't know who Killian is, one of my best friends, he used to be in Creeper's Edge, he bought me Minecraft. And, uh, I kind of went down to his house one day, saw Minecraft, and I was like, oh, wow, that looks like a really good game. We, we bought Minecraft, and then we started looking for servers. We joined a server, which was really, really simple back in the day. It wasn't even factions. That was the thing. It wasn't even factions. It was just kind of like, you just go build bases on the ground and you hide. It was a raid and server, and we had quite an adventure on it. But then, we kind of left that server, and we found another server called Pines Media. Pines Media now was a faction server. Now, at this time, we were really, really young. When I say young, I mean like, what? 13, 14? Immature and young, pretty much. And we played in that server, we made quite a few enemies. I remember at the start, um, there was this person that really, really hated me and Killian, and he was called The Roll. And um, he constantly called us out for like hacking and all this kind of stuff. Like this was back in the day when we really, really took factions kind of seriously. Well, not really seriously. Um, it wasn't even factions really, it was kind of like, factions, it was kind of, factions was kind of there, but it was kind of, there still wasn't really lots of like, bases. Like back then you wouldn't have claim bases like you would have now. But we had this guy called The Roll. Now he hated us and he had a, army of like followers and we had an army of people and like they were really really powerful and I remember for like days and days and days we kept trying to track down our base and until suddenly we tracked down their lair and um we had a big massive fight we raided him and then he got banned for actual hacks uh, which was great we were so happy back in the day and that was then when we actually got to meet the owner of the server called House123. That was his name, House123. But yeah, that's how we met the owner of the server, because we were raiding someone and he was watching us. And that person we were raiding was the Roll, and the Roll was apparently hacking, which we didn't see anything, but he got banned. And we were like, all right, okay, we're cool with that. It was our enemy. We were like, yep, see you later. But that's how we met House. And then like 15 minutes later, just randomly out of the blue, he's like, first two people to come, or first like, first people to come on uh, TeamSpeak get, um get mod and we were we jumped straight on it we're like what we're like what is team speak like what what is this and like apparently like no one uses the team speak like back then like no one really used team speak whatsoever and we jumped on he was like yeah uh, you're irish i guess you two can have mod and like that that day was such a bad like giving us mod was such a bad idea because we were bad mods. We were 14. We were immature. We were, we just joined Minecraft as well. Can you can you imagine what that's like when you have all that power as a mod? And back then mods got like fly, they got vanished, they got everything. There was no trial mod periods, there's no nothing, and they got TPO, they got everything. Now, I'm not saying that we went and blew up people's bases. No. What we would do is we would sit outside we would, me and Killian would constantly sit there and vanish, like, trolling with players, and, like, <laughs> like, it was really bad at the time, and, like, I, I'm sorry if I caused, like, rages to anyone, but, like, we'd literally just sit there at spawn, flying around, killing people in vanish sometimes. It was really bad. But this was back when, like, trolling was really, really big, and server griefing was really, really big, and going behind people's back. I don't know. But that's what we used to do. So we got mod. That was a terrible idea because me and Killian were really, really new to Minecraft. Like we were really, really new to Minecraft, and we had we had no enemy because this was like a really small server, like maybe like thirty people on. Maybe that 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 would be even peak times. So when the raw left, he was a really, really active player. So we had like literally nothing to do, and all the people who kept coming to the server, we didn't really know. So they're just random people, but. Giving us mod when we were really, really new to the faction was such, or new to factions or new to Minecraft was such a bad idea because we literally didn't know what to do with all this power. And back in the day, when you got mod on some servers, 
You didn't have a child up here. You didn't have Andy. You didn't have anyone overwatching you or watching that you do a bad job or anything or any forums to report you on or anything like that. We literally had, we were straight into mods. We were like, hey, you can have, he was like, hey, you guys can have mods. I guess you're Irish, you're cool. <laughs> literally like you came on TeamSpeak and you can have mod. And mod gave us access to TPO slash fly slash vanish. Loads of random commands that we shouldn't have had. And what we would do is that we would just sit at spawn just trolling people and you know we took it too far sometimes but at the end of the day we were new to Minecraft we didn't we just thought oh it's fine we'll just do it we were really really young as well and immature and we shouldn't have done it but like we were like killing people we were like uh, if people were pvping we were like oh let's fly down and steal the loot you know we were bad people like that and like to, like if I was if I could go back now I would say sorry because we didn't realize what we were doing and some of you guys could be like oh <laughs> You, you still do that to this day or something like, or like something like that, but no, I don't. It's just because we were new and <laughs> we were really, really bad people and we trolled a lot and uh, we abused a lot. <laughs> we did, but we were new. Like, let's just go with one case, for example. This guy had a beautiful house. Uh, we made it turn night. We put down signs saying Hero Brian was here and started placing fire over it. He got not on his house, not on his building or anything, and we start pretty much what we did was we griefed all around his house. So literally like a hundred blocks each way was just a huge crater of TNT. Literally a huge crater of TNT. Yeah, yeah, I've ranked up. And he, he, he just lost it. He just raged and he just left. And we're like, oh, and that's kind of when we realized like, oh, sugar, we're actually doing bad things. Cause he, he kind of like called us out. It's like stupid mods trolling me. Cause he kind of knew. Most people are kind of like, wait, who's, what's going on here? But like, he kind of called us out and we're like, oh, we're kind of bad people, but we were really, really bad, and yeah, we we trolled quite a lot, and uh, me and Killian had a lot of fun doing it. But if I if I if I was to look back at it now, I think it would be very, very stupid and not nice to do because we ruined some people's day for sure. So some playing. time went on, and we never got caught from House. House didn't really suspect anything. He kind of well, like kind of to be honest, I think he kind of knew, but didn't really care. Like at the end, they like back then, this was when like you know the server had thirty players. It was like a really, really small server. This was Pines Media. Now this was. Four years ago, so if you think it's current, don't dislike the video because it wasn't. This was four years ago on a server you guys have probably never played or never will be because it's down now. But anyway, so let's keep going. So then, so then Josh came into the game and we started YouTube and um, we made our first video. You can actually go back now and watch our first video on Pines Media. If you go to our oldest videos, you can go watch that. Maybe I'll leave a link in the description. But we started a YouTube channel and kind of everything started to change and we we're still kind of mods, um, but we, no, we weren't really mods. Killian was a mod and I was an admin, but I didn't abuse. I was a good admin. I didn't really care at that time. I was good then. I was really, really good. Um, I was a proper admin at that, at that time. And we're doing YouTube and it was a lot of fun because it, it really, really helped out because we started growing we started growing decently fast and the server helped us out because you know we had a little bit of a community like all the people in the servers would watch our videos and it was really fun and we'd have little wars and it was cool and uh, we started growing from there and then let's jump forward with the psych the pines media life it like pines media just started to die and that's when i think faction servers were kind of becoming really really big i think um and i don't know i felt like the server just started to die and we we're doing our best to advertise that obviously we were very very small at the time and it wasn't doing so great uh, it kind of just started going down it was doing great for up here but then it just started going down so we got in contact with a pro i got in contact eventually with a youtuber and i was like i was really happy at the time this was like a really really big um kind of rating YouTuber. and he actually replied to me i was like oh my god this big youtuber i think he had like forty thousand subscribers at the time it's like oh my god this big rating youtuber's got in contact with me and uh yeah and we started talking he came on my server and we started playing and all that kind of stuff and we were doing like videos together and i was like oh my god this is great and then one day i think i was talking to him about how we could merge like one of his servers i think it was like called mc Ra mc raids with like pines media and so we did and that was what ruined it for me with Pines Media. I had so much love for Pines Media, obviously not at the start because I abused, but <laughs> I had so much love for that server. And um, yeah, it was it when we merged with those other people, things just went bad because those other people that we merged with were really, really corrupt. They were really, really bad. I'm being honest here. And <clears throat> they kind of ruined the server. And also House, I don't know if he's going to see this video. If he does, then wow. I don't, uh, well, hello. Um, <clears throat> House kind of started to neglect me in a sense. Like he was kind of more about everything was about, uh, say, Avenger I will. You know, I wasn't really involved with anything. And I helped. I, I'm the one who created the merge and stuff. And they just, like, they didn't, 
They didn't involve me with anything, so I was like, oh, this kind of sucks. You know, I'm not like, you know, Avenger was getting free ranks here and there, like, all, like free ranks, and obviously back at the time, that was a big deal to me. Um, but like, he was getting free ranks, and I wasn't getting free ranks, and I was like, what's going on? So I left, and that's where I met iPhone Tips 1. I played on the Legend Craft for ages. I helped out the Legend Craft a lot. They got some players, which is awesome. I brought it back to life for ages, which was amazing. And I played, I done like an Opcraft series, I did loads. And then one day I had the idea to make Sedge PvP, or the head, I came up with the head hunting system. Uh, like the rank ups, uh, like not the rank up spawns actually, that wasn't actually implemented at that time. But I came up with the head hunting system, I was like, oh my god, I want to make my own server now. Because it was unique, it was different, and that's what I liked, that's why I wanted to make my own server. I wanted to make my own server for like, ages. I just wanted it to have its own game mode, and that's why Psycho has its own game mode. Which is head hunting and the ranking up of spawners and stuff, that's what we're really, really proud of. And we were first to make it, which was amazing, and I was like, yeah, we have a unique faction server, that's awesome. And then, you know, Matt joined, and that's when Psycho, but that's when Psycho was created. So that's literally the history of faction. And as well, like, you know, it was more to do with, like, you know, just Pines Weed and stuff. Like, if I never got into that, I don't know if I would have been here today. So, I guess I'm kind of grateful for that. And, yeah, it was, I had a pretty fun adventure. We were bad mods, man. I, I know the feeling of, like, that's why now when I watch out for, like, if, like, watch out for people who've got, like, new mods. Well, at the end of the day, mods don't even have that much power anymore. On, well, not on our servers anyway. But, you know, if I wasn't so new to Minecraft, I guess I wouldn't have been that abusive and been trolling so much. But, yeah, it's because I was new to Minecraft. I used to go on, like, build servers and grief. I was that bad. Like, I was a bad person. Um, but that's when griefing was a hot thing to do. But, yeah, and we're here today with Psych PvP doing great. We just released Wither. I'm so happy. You know, that's literally my faction adventure. Um... In a, in a nutshell, I might, I probably missed some things, but like, that's four years of history, like. And guys, just a side note, during this whole time of factions, I really, really enjoyed searching for raids. That's actually why I can, I'm, I'm not so good at finding raids. You can't be good at finding raids. It's luck to find raids. Like, you know, it takes me like two, two hours. A lot of people are like, how can you find raids, but I can't. Remember, I'm doing this full time in a sense, so I can find raids whenever I want. I can look, I can look, I can look and look. I, I don't have school or anything at the moment. But that, I got really into looking for raids and that's how I actually, that's why I enjoy it still to this day so much, especially finding unclaims. But guys, that is the story of my faction adventure. Maybe you could go into a more in-depth one in the future, but that's pretty much the basics of it. Like, yeah, I just wanted to show that, you know, you know. I'm not this perfect person, you know, like when I was younger, I did, I did bad stuff as well. So, you know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one.